under working progress there are two types one is work certified and uncertified the information is given each and every contractor so they are maintaining a separate contract account so the contract having a contract number the contractor where they store the material so which is going for the construction work so obviously we can say it is a site work Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidya Ashram First Grade College, Mysore, the Temple of Excellence. We are in the Unit 1, Session 5, 4 semester BCom, Costing Methods and Technique. Uh, the chapter name is Job Costing and Contract Costing. And today, my agenda is Contract Costing a Problem in the last session, which is related to Contract Costing only. And uh, there is one question, okay, to understand more and more knowledge about the contract costing, how it is working, this specific problem which is completely based on the construction, okay. So, the BBA construction company, okay, the BBA construction company undertake a large contract because uh, there are different contractors are available. So, they are preparing a different uh, contract. In the books of contractor, they are preparing a different uh, contract. So, this contractor, uh, the following a particular related to contract number 125 because uh, they are dealing for the number of contracts, right? So, each and every contract having a numbers. So, the contract number 125 uh, carried out during the year uh, ended 31st March uh, 2015, okay? So, the date is very important when it is completing. So, here the particular work certified by architecture. Architecture means contractor once they completed work around 80% or 70%. So, they are tried to the contractor will intimate to the contractee. Now, the contractee blindly cannot uh, believe what is the uh, uh, progress. Okay. So, you want to get more clarity from the architecture or engineering. That's what the contractee are uh, inviting the persons like uh, architecture to certify the work what a contractor they assured uh, work certified 1,43,000 and the cost of work not certified because under contract account credit say work in progress uh, according to the format uh. so first one under working progress there are two types one is work certified and uncertified the information is given uh, the for 3400 uh, plant installed at the site because the plant there are uh, every construction work is depending on the machinery so the plant part is very important so 11,300 uh. whenever uh, which is going for the site or construction purpose uh, so you have to write in the contract account debit side uh. okay value of plant on 31st March uh, 15 uh, 8200 uh. the material sent to the site because uh, the material will be sending to with the help of a store okay or golden the contractor where they store the material so which is going for the construction work so obviously we can say it is a site work. okay and then the labor related expense uh, around the uh, 5 54800 and the establishment charge because of course there are different types of direct or indirect uh, expense are connected for the construction work. So, 3,250 and uh, wages accrued on 31st March 2015, sometimes they can specify in the adjustment entry but here it is given in the format. So, we need to add for wages, uh, okay. So, 1,800 because accrue means we are uh, in future we are paying. So, within the one year only contract account only we are paying. So, the direct expenditure, what and all, uh, the expenditure, everything is going for the left side and the income is credit side. How you are trading in P&L account, the same thing you have to treat here. And the material on hand at the end of the uh, contract, okay, if it is completed means, uh, of course, if there is an unused material, uh, so which is going for the credit side. And the material returned to store, whatever the material is left, uh, uh, which is returned to the store, uh, okay, the store is maintained by the contractor. Uh, 400 uh, and the direct expenditure accrual because there is a, a specific uh, one items like a direct expenditure so we need to add this one okay so 200 uh, where debit side we have to take uh, and the contract price each and every contractor the agreed value for in between contractor and contract uh, that price is called for contract price 2 lakhs is given okay and of course uh, cash received from the contract uh, because the contract is assigned a worker uh, okay given responsibility for contractor to complete the work so of course the cash uh, paid by the contracting okay one lakh thirty thousand uh, here they are asking here to prepare the contract account for the period ended 31st March 2015 
and find out the profit because each and every contractor they want to find out the profit okay either they are getting profit or loss so which is an approximate uh, we are calculating so that we can call it as a notional profit okay so it was decided to transfer it was decided to transfer a 2 by 3 of the profit on the cash basis to the P&L account okay 2 by 3 because the calculation part is very important so that's what we need to consider for the 2 by 3 According to the question, we are moving to the solution. Uh, whatever the each and every contractor, uh, so they are maintaining a separate contract account. So the contract having a contract number. So uh, with the help of questions, we are writing the title. Okay, the contract account number 125, uh, account for the year ended 31st March 2015. So debit side. Uh, okay which is related to expense uh, credit side which is related to income okay so the first one from the question we are trying to take uh, uh, first the material okay the material sent to site so because the contractor are maintaining a store uh, or they are getting a materials from the market uh, so which is before starting a construction work they try to uh, send the material for the site okay before starting a construction work so the material which is nothing but your expense right so when you are sending for the site so the material cost whatever it is given in the question uh, 65,500 so you have to write in the debit side so once you return the material cost then we are trying to go for the labor okay the labor also which is related to expense so, so we are writing in the debit side the labor cost also which is given in the question 54,800 okay there is one related adjustment we are identifying so which is nothing but the uh, direct um, wages are accrued okay so labor and wages are similar right so either we can add directly here or we can show separately so directly which is given in the question so i am writing separately 1800 okay otherwise we can add for the labor plus outstanding accrued okay so we are writing so moving for the establishment expense which is identified as an expense so we are writing the debit side uh, uh, 3000 250 okay now direct expense there is one adjustment related to direct expense which is given in the uh, format so directly we can uh, take otherwise we can add accrual okay uh, direct expense which is given 2400 or plus direct expense accrual both are same only we are, I have written separately 200 now, next moving to so before starting a construction work, we need to depend on the plant, so which is sending, the contractor is sending a plant to the site, so the, which is one kind of expense because uh, the plant is getting a continuous usage, right? So the plant at site 11,000. 300 okay so uh, now moving to the credit side which is nothing but your income okay uh, the contract what they are generating income uh. one is uh, whatever the material or the unused material which is returned to the store okay so which is uh, nothing but uh, income so the 400 worth and uh, even the material they have material in hand that is also not used right so 1400 so here very important concept under work in progress progress which is not completed so under work in progress uh, for example the total 100% uh, uh, 80% work is completed or 70% are work certified okay completed so we classified into two further category like uh, certified so in the question directly they given information 1 lakh uh, 43000 are certified okay because uh, contractors uh, whenever they are try to approve for the contract to collect money or receiving money so they will promise 80 percent or 70 percent the contract is not blindly believing so the what they are doing the contract are inviting the architecture or engineer so in this question they clearly specified architectures are certified value so 1 lakh 43 000 and now uncertified under work in progress uncertified value uh, 3400 which is given in the question directly we can take okay now after usage of the measure plant which is going to the okay plant at site right so which is actually going to the store so the same thing which is returning okay now 8200 8200 now where we are getting more either income side or more or credit side or more so obviously in this question uh, 
uh, the credit side is you are getting 1,56,400 just opposite to copy okay 1,56,400 from this 1,56,400 you need to subtract her till here okay so the remaining balance 18,150 which is we call it as a notional profit carry down okay notional profit carry down so which is going for the credit side opposite direction by notional profit brought down 18,150 50. Okay, so according to format, uh, we are trying to calculate in the question they clearly specified profit and loss is transfer. Okay, 2 by 3. So here we are getting a 18,150 into 2 by 3. Okay, so into because there is a specific formula. Okay, your cash received the formula is the same thing notional profit, uh, notional profit uh, into 2 by 3. 2 by 3, when you are expecting 80%, more than 50% work is completed, then only we are expecting a 50%, 2 by 3. Okay, into cash received divided by work certified okay so this formula i have clearly specified in the uh, the theory part uh, okay in the last session okay here the notion profit uh, we got the difference 18150 into uh, 2 by 3, 2 by 3 which is maximum always 50, more than 50% work completed means you have to, if it is less than 50% like 1 by 25% less means or less than 50% means we are taking a 1 by 3, but in this case uh, 2 by 3 we clearly in the question they specified so we need to take. A, a notion profit into uh, 2 by 3 into cash received from the contract divided by work certified by the architecture okay so after calculation we are getting 11000 okay now the difference from this 18000 18150 if you subtract 11000 the difference will be 7150 which is going for the work in progress reserve transferring okay at the time of balance sheet we are clearly showing that okay I hope this problem is understood. Keep on watch for next section. Thank you.